10 years ago, affordable and reasonably practical convertibles seemed to be everywhere. You had the Peugeot 306, the Volvo C70, the Saab 93, and of course the Holden Astra. Then, at some point, they just seemed to fall out of fashion. So what's this new one all about? I'm Tom Baker, this is Chasing Cars, and today we're seeing if this Holden Cascader is a $40,000 European drop top that you should pick up in time for summer. It's most certainly not summer right now, but the Cascader still works pretty well in winter, and that's because this is a cabin that's really nicely heated. For starters, you sit on these beautifully soft and supportive, well-heated leather seats, and you hang on to this nice little steering wheel, which is also heated, and that works really well. The rest of the Cascader interior works, well, fine. There's lots of buttons up here, and that's making the center console look a little bit dated. And the navigation screen is a little small and controlled up here, which takes a bit of getting used to. However, lots of little details in the interior look great, like this stitched leather dashboard up here. Generally, most bits in here feel nice and solid, except the quality of some of these plastics down here is definitely something for Holden to work on for the next car. Where the Cascader sets itself apart from small sporty convertibles like the Mazda MX-5 is that it's got back seats and there are two perfectly usable ones back here. I wouldn't want to spend all that much time because it's fairly upright but your legroom is actually acceptable and your headroom is limitless for somebody six foot nothing with the roof down and it's okay with the roof up. There's only one Cascader model and it's good value at $42,990. And the only option is this metallic paint, which is $550. Convertibles are notorious for having pretty poor boot space, but actually the Cascader does a decent job of it. Basically, if you keep the roof up, you're able to stow away this little safety bit in there and that gives you a Volkswagen Golf like 360 litres of space but if you keep the roof down like we've got it now that reduces things to a more Toyota Yaris like 280 litres but still if you want to take away the car for the weekend roof drop down a couple of overnight bags you'll be fine with getting that in. Jump behind the wheel of the Cascader and you think hmm this is actually pretty nice for starters, the driving position is really good, so that puts me in a positive frame of mind right off the bat. Well, the most important thing when you're buying a convertible is how quickly can you get that roof down? Because if you don't plan to have it down a lot of the time, there's really no point to buying one of these cars. Well, in the Cascader, it takes a really short 17 seconds, and that's great. The roof can also be operated up to 50 kilometers per hour, which makes it nice and practical. The engine's also not too bad either. You give it a little bit of encouragement and you think, hmm, there's a bit of pep there. The 1.6 litre turbo petrol can be a little bit laggy off the line, but once you're up to speed, 125 kilowatts of power and 260 newton metres of torque is sufficient to keep things moving along pretty smartly. And there's actually a pretty cool raspy engine note as well if you give it a real go. The handling of the Cascader is certainly nowhere near as floaty as some older convertibles. In fact, you could call it buttoned down in the corners. But there's no disguising the fact that the Cascader's frame can be a little bit shaky over bumps, but you come to expect that from a convertible. Fuel economy, that's only average. We got about 10 litres per 100 k's over our week with the car, though we stayed in town. Get it onto the freeway and economy will settle down quite nicely. Servicing is also really cheap for the Cascader. That's because Holden's cap price servicing program applies. It covers the first three years and it limits your spend to less than $1,000 over that time. So that's my take on the Holden Cascader. It's good value, it looks good, it's fun to drive, and you can get four in at a pinch. What more could you want from a summer convertible?